I'm very excited, um, very inspired at the moment. Of course, it doesn't come without the sense of responsibility and weight. Um, however, that's not a bad thing. I actually think it's no. very, very motivating. With my appointment comes change, um, changes in aesthetic philosophy and ideals um, to produce really high quality dance works for local and international stages. Um, bringing on board an incredibly talented ensemble of dancers. Daniel's the man because he has the talent and because he has the hunger and it's just the right time. You know, it's, he's the perfect age to, and has all that energy and all that kind of, um, in a way, ambition. There's nothing, and there's a, that's a really good thing to have in dance because it's a tough business. And um, it's all of those elements coming together and also, he wishes to, you know, develop his choreographic practice, have an ensemble of people around him to work with, because you need that to develop as a choreographer. As you're, you, you get older, you, your body is not capable of sustaining those hours of physicality in the studio, you know, and I want my body to last me a bit longer. Um, but also your interests shift, um, and having more time between projects is also um, you know, a wonderful thing because you, you, sometimes you need more time than is available and when you're younger you just, you just want to pour it out. You know, Dan's in that stage where he just can pour that, that movement out and he has that kind of, whereas now I'm kind of uh, I'm in a different process where I question a lot more. I, I really search out to work with uh, other art forms and, and find uh, that yes, this is really where my interest lies and, and to, you know, that's I think the, the privilege and the pleasure of, you know, mature, uh, um, being a mature artist. I've got invaluable support and mentoring through Lee, um, which is something actually quite rare, or especially in the transition period, I guess most companies would hand over directors. Whilst Lee won't be, you know, in the studio with my work, um, he'll be out exploring his own avenues and making his own independent work while we can rebrand and develop new work for this organisation. Um, yeah, full access to his knowledge and skills. And I think in this time too, um, funding authorities, everyone expects, you know, once you become an artistic director that you're an expert on everything, how to put a business plan together, how to do all, and you, you don't come equipped with all that information, you know, and, and nor should you have to. And in fact, your primary purpose is to create and to make dance. And so I figure me being there, especially in this first part, can kind of ease that through a bit. So Dan can actually do what he's really inspired to do. It's, it's it, very few people are inspired to fill out application forms for funding. It's a necessary <laughs> process and we understand that. But, but in this very crucial period, um, you know, I would really like to see him have the opportunity of concentrating on the work, which is why he's here. At the moment, working on developing an in-studio series of work, which will speak to a different audience than what the main stage season of works will do. Um, but making a conscious effort to create work that do speak to broad and diverse audiences, as opposed to a, a linear aesthetic or a linear brand image, um, trying to communicate with, with more people and increase interest in what we do here. Um, that's it as far as the performance outcome of where the company's heading. So um, yeah, quite a contrast, but also really exciting. Exciting for me to challenge my own choreographic concepts, exciting for the dancers to have that diversity and change and hopefully really positive and exciting moment for the company as well as it mm. sets into the future. But you've got a new work coming up um, that will be premiered at the yes, Festival Centre. Yeah, yes, yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, Reassessment, a double bill, which I'm working on at the moment, which I've been working on for quite a few years. As you, you get to know as an independent, it takes a long time to get something to the stage. Um, so Space Theatre in August, there'll be a world premiere of a new double bill of works, simultaneous with Lee's presentation of the yeah, we're taking, last trilogy. We're taking over so, the dance town <laughs> the festival in, in uh, August. Is just it's going to be good. Flooded it's with our stuff. It's yeah. going to be good. It's exciting.
Yeah. Finishing the year, um, I'll probably um, visit New Zealand to do a bit of teaching. But prior to that, um, at the same time as Dan's happening, well, he happens just before me, but then I'm putting the trilogy of glass operas on, um, which is going to be a huge celebration of 21 years of the company. And uh, hopefully I'll manage to get Paul O'Sullivan from um, Perth and uh, Victor Bramich over from Melbourne. And then all of the original company from when we started 21 years ago will be here. And so we're going to have a bit of a knees up and a a celebration before uh, it kicks into LW Dan, you know. It's mixed emotions, of course, but I think it's also, I, I'm finding it each day, the possibilities are more exciting because I'm not going to be kind of left behind. I kind of get to be a part of and see the company moving forward in a new way. And I think that's, that's how it should be. And it's, it's, it's great, it's a great feeling, yeah.